Question 24. Part of this number line is shaded. It goes 0, 1, 2. Circle all the numbers below that belong in the shaded part of the number line. So as you can see, we've got some of them in fractions, some of them in decimals. So let's turn them all into decimals. So 1 and a third is 1.3 recurring. 1 and a fifth is 1 whole 1 and a fifth is 0.2. So that's 1.2 recurring. Because remember, if you've got a pizza and you split it into 5 whole pieces to get your fifth, each whole piece would have to be 0 0.2. So 1 and a fifth is 1.2. Now we need to figure out what decimals lie on the number line. Well, if we start on zero, this first one we come to is a quarter of the way along this along the line to one. So a quarter of the way along would be 0 0.25. This second line is half the way along, so that's 0 0.5. Three quarters of the way along is 0 0.75. And then we've got a whole one. And it goes again, 1.25, 1 1.5, 1 1.75, two whole ones. Now at this point, we've got to focus in on what these two markers at the start and the end of the shady bit are. So it starts at 1.25 and it ends at 1.5. But let's not forget that 1.5 is actually the same as 1.50 so 1.25 and 1.50 now they've both got two digits after the point if we go down to the numbers we've got to make them all have two digits after the point that will need to have a zero 1.4 become 1.40 1.3 recurring would become 1.33 and 1.2 will become 1.20 now, which of these numbers lie between 1.25 and 1.50? Well, 1.10, if you just think about money, £1.10 is less than £1.25. So that one wouldn't be between it. £1.40 is between £1.25 and £1.50. So £1.40 definitely would be. £1.33, that definitely lies between £1.25 and £1.50, so this one is. And £1.20 is less than £1.25, so £1.20 would be a bit to the left of this array. So that one would not lie between. So therefore, we've got our answers 1.4 and 1 and a third. Another way of thinking of it is that 1.4 would be a bit less than 1.5. So 1.4 would be about here. And 1 and a third, if you imagine this gap here split into three equal pieces, first third would be about there, the second third would be about there. So 1 and 1 third would be in the grey gap, 1 and 2 thirds wouldn't. So yeah, those two in the centre would lie in the grey shaded part of the number line.